one's only been out for a couple of months, but it's already becoming a really serious challenger to uh, other software, shall we say. Um, people love it because it's really easy to learn, and it's really fast to use, and it's incredibly powerful. And that's a combination you just don't get with much, most of the software out there. Um, we've got over 45 new features in version 1.5. I don't know, it might be 46, it might be 47, it's probably going to be 48 by tomorrow. Uh, we're developing this thing really fast. Uh, let's have a look at what we got. Big thing, video playback and sync for composing the picture. A lot of people have been asking for this. It's drag and drop as well, drag and drop video. Um, can we just see how that works, Jonathan? Let's switch to Studio One. Here's our Studio One, we've got a few tracks in here. And you can see in the browser on the right hand side, we can now look at videos and it will recognize QuickTime movies. We just grab a QuickTime movie, drag it into the arrange window and that's it, it's right there. Um, just hit play and away you go. That's how hard it is to load video into this software. Like everything else, the Studio One drag and drop. If I want to extract the audio from that, I can just click on a little button down there. It says extract audio, pulls the audio off the video, drops it straight into the sequencer. What I really love is that I also can follow edits built in. Now, this is not something you normally get on a piece of software at this, at this level. Let's just open up an audio track, for example. Can we just edit an audio track? And now, when we do anything in this audio track, if we move something around or whatever, the video will track what we're doing. So we have a full follow song built in. So it will follow it. The video will automatically track every edit we're making inside the program. Um, if we want to move some markers around, for example, we move some markers, we can put the marker right down where the video needs to be. It'll track our marker movement as well. Really, really effective, very, very powerful, and built into Studio One Pro right now. So what else have we got? Drag and drop. It was powerful before. You could drag anything out of the browser into the program. You can drag in instruments, effects, presets, loops, you name it. Well, how can we make that more powerful? Well, now we've made it bi-directional. You can now drag out of the program into the browser. So that means if you want to export an audio track, you just grab the audio track, drag it to the folder in the browser, and it just gets automatically exported to wherever you want to put it. If you want to save an effects preset or save an instrument sound, just drag the instrument plug-in into the browser, and it automatically saves the preset for you. You never have to go to the menu and go to File, Save, whatever, just drag and drop. Really, really powerful. Automation, we've added a lot of new automation features that people really wanted. Uh, automation points are now locked to events, much more easy to use. We've now got dynamic time stretch, key command editor, unlimited undo, album and song art, recycle file support. You can drag a recycle rex file straight into our sample one. It automatically cuts it all up, makes it into a multi-sample for the sampler, builds a MIDI part, and allows you to play it as a sample inside the sampler. Um, Level meters, spectrum meters, a lot of new MIDI enhancements. Input quantize, that's actually undoable, which is pretty amazing. And lots and lots more stuff. This is a big one, export to SoundCloud. We showed this at NAMM, people absolutely loved it. We're going to be showing it here. Not only can you record and mix and master with the SoundCloud integration, you can upload your finished mastered song to the SoundCloud server and from there it will automatically go to your MySpace page, your Facebook page, your website, anything you want. So we not only mix, record, mix and master, you can publish, you can get to the public right away. If you come to the demos later, we'll be recording a band, mixing it and then uploading it to the website within 30 minutes. It's great. It's a full sound cloud integration and it's a free update to registered users. Um, that's going to be coming out hopefully in a couple of weeks time. We're pretty much close to final on that one right now. So it's going to be a free update and you'll see it working here at the show. And that's all we got.